golf can be extremely difficult. 198, great downwind. I really try to remember what got me to this point. This is a fancy shot, Ian. And try to lean into that more. Oh yeah, right on line. Confidence is key. There's a lot of noise out there. The way to filter it out would be finding the times that you have performed well, figure out why you played well, and then use the data to help that. And then the flip side would be really using that data to then help you practice, which then helps you play better again. So we want to fit pretty tight. So if you want to go ahead and zip up the front there. We always would like to practice and prepare with equipment multiple weeks before a tournament ever starts to try to get as confident with a new club as possible. Much better. That was much better rotation going through. All the resources that we have can be overwhelming sometimes just because you can get lost in data. And then that is the rotation. Yes, and typically we'll see better players rotate more than bent. I'll use video and I'll use placement points on the computer in slow-mo. You moving your ribcage that and getting those numbers that close together is very good. It's really endless, the amount of technology that we have. Finding the yards on your clubs is probably the most important thing. It may be the most important thing in golf. About 158 is knowing exactly how far you hit each club. We do that on the range, but I always have a little uptick in yards in the tournament because of adrenaline. And yeah, well, that's a straight putt for Keith. So I try to factor that in as much as I possibly can in my practice. Almost full, about 166. The first time that you can ever get really confident in whether it's a new strategy or a new piece of equipment is when it actually happens in battle. When I approach a shot, I have a checklist that goes through my mind. First is my instinct when I see the shot walking up into it. Looks like 112 covers the bunker, 120 hole. Mostly it's what's at the green, where does this ball need to finish, and how do I get it there? A little wind off the right, so that's gonna probably draw a little bit more, which therefore is gonna bounce a touch farther. And then I start adding in the lie, the club, the green surface, Probably try to hit this ball 115 for it to land about 119, roll out two yards, hopefully be just past the flag. I see the shot, I see the pin, I need to figure out where are my obstacles on the green. Got to get this ball just past it, might be a perfect number. He will love this one. So you really have to lean on, oh, he's going to like what he discovers. To what made you play well. Good looking birdie right there for Keith Mitchell and finding how you can use a technology to help assist that.